Topping news tonight, Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Honorable Fred Mitchell, firing back at the Grand Bahama Port Authority after the company released a statement last week defending its role in the city of Freeport. This comes on the heels of the nation's leader announcing in Parliament that decisive action needs to be taken to continue to achieve the promise of the Hawksbill Creek Agreement. Here's that report. Prime Minister the Honorable Philip Davis emphasized the need for his administration to take decisive action regarding concerns about the Grand Bahama Port Authority and its compliance with the terms of the Hawksbill Creek Agreement. In response, the Grand Bahama Port Authority released a statement reaffirming its commitment to the ongoing development and resurgence of Freeport, aiming to strengthen the economy and improve the lives of Grand Bahamians. However, Foreign Affairs Minister the Honorable Fred Mitchell suggested that GBPA misunderstood the Prime Minister's point, which simply indicates that GBPA should fulfill its duties until the HCA expires in the next 30 plus years. So all the Prime Minister said in the House of Assembly a couple of days ago was, we think you are not living up to the agreement. Yesterday, I saw a statement come out saying, lie. That ain't true. We are living up to the agreement. $1.5 billion, they said, and they named off a list. But Mr. Wilson will tell you, who's responsible for that list? Not them. The Bahamas government did that. Not them. Minister Mitchell highlighted the work done by Minister for Grand Bahama, the Honorable Ginger Moxie, on behalf of the government since taking office back in 2021, while referencing a previous dispute with former parliamentarian Frederick McElpine regarding the role of the GBPA and the future of Grand Bahama. Mitchell maintained his position that the government is better qualified to manage the city of Freeport. Ginger Moxie, since she's been the minister responsible for Grand Bahama, mobilized $9 million to put in this economy since the election in September of 2021. The Bahamas government, we were walking along the road on the march. We had to duck around the potholes in the road. Who was responsible for fixing the road in Grand Bahama? Look at the abandoned buildings. Who was responsible for that? This ongoing debate raises questions about the division of responsibilities between the government and the GBPA. Mitchell further clarifies the government's perspective. All we're saying to them today is until 2054, carry out your responsibilities according to the agreement. If your job is to attract investment, and investment means creating jobs. That's what workers do. They work at a job. The Grand Bahama Port Authority's responsibility is to attract jobs to Grand Bahama and the Freeport. If your job is to do that, then do your job.